Hi folks, my name is Chuck, Chuck New. I'm with the Winking Pig Barbecue, and you're watching a new episode of Chuck's the Cooking. And so a few weeks back, I told you folks that at some point on my channel, I was going to put a video up of making mashed potatoes. Well, that time has come, and so I'm going to make a video here of making mashed potatoes for my beginning cooks uh, um, playlist here. And so, it's a pretty very simple recipe. And so let's uh, turn around here and see what we got going. Okay folks, so what we've got here, I've got about five, I'm gonna say, medium to small russet potatoes that I've already gone ahead and peeled. And um, I wanted to leave the peel on them, but there's quite a lot of green under the peel. And that green underneath the peel is actually, let's see, maybe you can see some of this green here. It's actually a mild poison, and so I tried to cut that stuff out, so I lost the peel. But it's quite, you know, quite acceptable to leave the peeling in there. Now, I got about two to three quarts of uh, cold water in here, and I'm going to take about a teaspoon of uh, sea salt there, and I have uh, calibrated hands there. And I know that was a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Table that was a tablespoon of sea salt there. And I'm going to take these uh, potatoes here. And I'm just going to kind of chunk them up a little bit, like so. Not terribly fine, because I'll show you why here in a little bit. And those are going to go right straight into this pot with the salted water. Now, uh, if you ever want to peel your potatoes early um, and save them, put in the refrigerator or whatever, uh, put them in a bowl of water because that'll help you to, that'll keep them from turning brown on you, oxidizing. So right into the water we go here. Alright, so now we're going to take our pot of water over here to the stove and we're going to put it on the stove and bring it to boil and they're going to boil until they are either fork or uh, butter knife tender where you can just push it right into them. So I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to clean up my area here, take it over here to the stove. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, now you can have a pretty good sized flame up under your pot. Now when you put something on the stove, you don't want your flames rolling out the side. If you're doing that, your heat's going to miss the pot. So you want to make sure your flame is up underneath the pot. That way the heat that's being produced is going into the pot and it's not all just coming up around the sides. That's much more efficient cooking. So there we are, we're on there. And I'm going to work hard to stop trying to say, or stop saying the word so. Uh, I've realized that I keep saying that and it's a crutch. And I know it's a crutch, but it's a habit that I've fallen into. And I'm going to try to break it. So, uh, so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're going to bring this to a boil and we uh, want to get those uh, potatoes to where they are fork or butter knife tender where they'll just push right in. And we'll be back. We will be back shortly. All right, so we've been boiling for a while now. And there you can see that that dude is pork tender. It's fall apart when I try to stick a fork into it. So, so there we go with the so again. I'm gonna try to stop that. <laughs> Bear with me. We're gonna move over here to the, back to our workspace and go to work on it. There we go. Now then, maybe you're the new cook in town and you don't have all the nice toys and gadgets in the kitchen and you don't have a colander or a wire mesh strainer. But if you got one of these slotted spoon things, you can take this and go just like that. Put them into your bowl. So, 
This is going to take all that water out of your potatoes there. Now, if you're making spaghetti or any kind of noodles, you're going to need a wire mesh strainer or a colander, one or the other, to do some straining with. Pour a little bit of that water off into the sink. And now keep, keep keep me from chasing them, chasing the pieces all around the bottom of it. All right, that's pretty good. quarter stick of butter which is about two tablespoons and if you ever notice on your butter it's marked off right there so I'm coming two marks over about like that and we're gonna throw this right into our potatoes here now I am potatoes mashed potatoes smashed potatoes whipped potatoes are all the same thing go by different names. Now then, we are going to kind of take that butter and try to get it melted a little bit. Also, right now, if you want to add anything else into your mashed potatoes, maybe some cheese, like that, or or maybe some uh, minced garlic like that. Now is the time to do it. You can put in some bacon uh, bacon bits, uh, anything that you, whatever you want, whatever you choose. Uh, sour cream and onion, whatever. Sour cream with uh, um, you know, green onions, diced up. Work fine. But now is the time to do it. Now we're going to take just a little bit of this hot water. Not much. That's just going to help us melt some of that stuff in there. And we got my potato masher here. And I'm just going to kind of mash these up a little bit. Now I personally like my potatoes a little on the lumpy side. Now if you want what I would call whipped potatoes, I want to make sure you uh, maybe want maybe you want to use a, uh, a hand mixer or something. Now I want just a little bit more, I don't know, a little more creamy. So I'm going to add just a little bit of milk to it to help And you're going to have to do this, kind of play it by ear, or sort of, I'm just kind of using that as a figure of speech, because we're not listening to anything. We are. We'll mash them up a little bit. Right into the bottom of my bowl there. Maybe just a tad more milk. too overboard here because like I said I like my potatoes kind of on the lumpy side if you want whipped potatoes you just keep on mashing I don't however like my potatoes on the dry side Alright, 
So I'm gonna reach across here, grab this pepper mill, just give it a good crack across the top. And I don't mean getting violent with it and cracking it across the top. I mean a crack of pepper across the top. Now then, that looks pretty daggone good to me. Rather than uh, dirty another spoon, I'm just gonna take and put some of that on there like so. Now, and this is quick and easy with a minimum amount of tools, a minimum amount of ingredients, and again, this is one of those things if you can boil water and have a few little ingredients on the side, you can make some excellent mashed mashed potatoes yourself. Alright, so it's that time. It's time to come over here and do this tasting thing. Alright folks, well, you've seen me make these mashed potatoes. Now one thing that I did not do at the end here is I did not uh, add any additional salt to these potatoes. And you may want to do that because it's, they're really not going to absorb a lot of salt out of that salt water. And you know, that's totally up to you. Uh, before you put them on the table, you might want to taste them and see if they're salty enough for you or if you want to add some more to it. But at any rate, it is time to taste these mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Very good. I can taste this butter, I can taste the garlic, and I can taste the cheese in these mashed potatoes. Exactly what I was looking for. I like it and uh, definitely something I would not be ashamed to put on the table and you saw how easy it was folks do me a favor hit like and subscribe down below if you like what you're seeing and also stay tuned because there's always more to come and thanks for watching